Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope you're doing really well. Time for a first impression. I finally, finally got this one in. It's the new Le Mans on board from Jean-Paul Gaultier. I feel like I talked about this a long time ago on This Week in Fragrance. I was expecting it to be available much, much sooner. I actually couldn't even find this in Europe for the longest time, at least not anywhere that would ship to the US until recently. Well, like two weeks ago. Shipping takes a while. In this video, I'm gonna unbox this one, show you guys the presentation, spray it on, and let you know what I think about it. That way you'll know whether you should be anticipating Lamal on board, or if this is a letdown that nobody should care about. So let's jump into it. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Satisfying. This is a, a pretty hefty can, so I'm gonna have to hold it back from the camera a bit so you can see all of it. But there it is, Lamal on board. Nothing doing up at the top. And there's a look at the bottom of the can for you. Batch code's pretty hard to see. It's 03441. It kind of blends in with the silver on the bottom of the can. It's, it's right up here, but I don't think you're gonna be able to make it out. Open up the can from the bottom, like always. Don't use a can opener. That would be ridiculous. Although I've seen people do it before. And there is the bottle for on board. And here it is in all its glory. Look at that, it's like 3D. <laughs> 3D Lamal coming at you. I apologize for that. I do like the bottle though. This thing looks nice. Just something about the coloration of the blue and uh, the crispness of the white lines. <laughs> It looks good. Now this fragrance does something that I hate, which is it gives you a minimal amount of notes. And that is the, the standard thing that we're seeing right now across fragrances being released. One in the top, one in the mid, one in the base. That's how it usually goes. So depending on where you look, this one has bergamot, tonka, geranium, and amber as the notes in the fragrance. Sometimes it'll have just three instead of those four. All right, let's go ahead and spray this on and see how it smells. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if it's any good. Really fresh, very fresh and green, a little bit sweet as well. So the bergamot you can pick up right away. Nice, fresh, uplifting, a little bit juicy, very sweet, as I mentioned though, and it has this like green leafy sort of undertone, which I imagine would be coming from the geranium, at least of the official notes that they give you. Just speaking in generalities here, but some of the Lamal fragrances that have come out that are summertime based are actually really solid. I know they don't get a huge amount of love, but fragrances like Lamal in the Navy were really good. You can pick up this Tonka sweetness pretty much right away. Not too dense, not too heavy, just warm, like a warm sweetness. And actually, I don't know if this is my mind playing tricks on me, but it smells like there's a woodiness in the background of the scent also. More of a faint modern kind of woodiness, actually probably amber wood would be a better way to put it. It smells a little bit simplistic, but it smells really good. I like this. There will absolutely 100% be people that come out and say that this is uh, boring, that it's not inspirational, <laughs> that it's not doing something really unique. And that's true. It's not really trying to be that though. This is a fresh yet sweet modern take on a summer fragrance made to pull compliments and made to be worn and worn a lot. And it is absolutely all of that. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It's not hyper game changing or anything like that. It's not gonna blow your mind, probably, but it smells nice. This is good. All right, I'm gonna let this dry down and then I'll come back and wrap this video up, see if it changes a little bit as it stays on my skin. So stick right there. I'll be back in like in like two seconds. Yeah, be right back. See, I told you that was super fast for you, longer for me. I've let this dry down. So that sweet green feeling that this has in the opening, that carries through for quite a while. And actually, this fragrance reminds me a bit of CH Men by Carolina Herrera, which also reminds some people of Aviator, also by Jean-Paul Gaultier, one of the many, many Le Mans flankers. Now, this isn't the same as either of those fragrances. Actually, I'd say this is a bit fresher 
than those, but it does have that, that green sweetness that is gonna tie this in a bit with those scents. And actually, if you told me there was a violet leaf note in here or a mint note or something like that, I would believe you. Even though those aren't listed as official notes here, the fragrance comes across like it has a bit of that in here. Especially that type of mint that comes across really uh, sweet instead of like a zingy mint or a realistic mint. It's not that type of scent. This one definitely comes across more synthetic. Now, I don't mean that at all in a negative way. I know that when you say synthetic sometimes, as it pertains to fragrances, that carries a negative connotation, and sometimes it's warranted. Sometimes when you say synthetic, you mean trash, <laughs> that it smells horrible, that it smells like uh, Lysol or Windex or something like that. So when I say synthetic here, I don't mean it in that negative way. The opposite, it actually smells ultra appealing. The main knocks on this fragrance, like I said with the opening part, is that it's going to be seen as not really unique, not really taking any chances, and it's definitely not doing that. So some people are gonna see it as just a, another boring Lamal release because there are so many of them at this point. And uh, in order to stand out, you have to really do something different, something new, you know, to stand out amongst that sea of Lamal flankers. And this one, might not do it enough for some people. This fragrance is really well done though. It's put together well, it's blended well, nothing sticks out like a sore thumb. It's good stuff. Basically, if you're looking for a fragrance that has a nice citrus in the opening, but honestly not too much, just a little bit to kind of lead you into the fragrance, along with the sort of sugary green sweetness, and then in sort of an amber woody feel in the dry down, check this out. Another good thing about this fragrance is it appears to have really solid performance. I've had it on for a while now and it's still projecting, it's still pumping out. So it doesn't appear to be that type of fragrance where you can pick it up strongly for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then it just kind of dies down. I can't speak overall to the entirety of the performance, you know, the, the longevity and all that, because this is still just a first impression, but I'm pleasantly surprised by the projection. Obviously, in terms of the the presentation and everything here. This is being marketed as more of a daytime, spring and summertime fragrance. But because of that sweetness, you're gonna be able to pull this off in cooler weather and during the evening as well. So my overall initial thoughts, initial assessment, yeah, it's simple. Yeah, it does take some, some notes from other fragrances or some ideas from other fragrances and tweaks them and twists them, but guess what? It smells nice, it smells really freaking good. At the end of the day, it's all about the smell. Is it good? Does it smell nice? Do other people like it? Am I gonna wanna wear it? Yes, to all of those. My hopes were not that high, if we're being honest here, but my expectations were exceeded. Solid stuff. So there we go, first impressions in the bag for Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal on board. I'll wear this more throughout the summer and give you guys a review at some point in the future. For now though, I really dig it. And when this pops up at discounters, I say, if you're interested in it, scoop it up. I don't think you'll be let down. That being said, I don't think that I would go out of my way and pay, you know, over a hundred dollars, 120 bucks or something like that to get it from overseas. I would just wait a little bit and scoop it up as soon as you can when it does hit discounters. Or at the very worst, I guess, scoop it up when it hits stores in the US, assuming it does. So there we go, Lamal on board. Nice, thumbs up. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.